If they were of no use, he didn't bother getting involved with them. That was how Tarbi Tobimaru Tsukiji operated. Sojiro happened to be the type of person who provided no benefit to Tobimaru, yet somehow sparked him in a sparked in him a desire to help. It wasn't that friendship was completely alien to him. <laughs> he just didn't have many people he felt that close to. <clears throat> so if Sojiro had really fallen for Aoko, it wasn't his place as a friend to try to change his mind. Yare, yare. Well, it's completely irrational, but I can't tell you not to like her. That yare yare never sounds right if it doesn't end in daze. Wow. I did, however, think she was, like, the hottest thing I'd ever seen the first time I laid eyes on her. <laughs> Just saying it right out loud. You can do that sometimes. Huh? So Bimaru's shoulders slumped. <laughs> well, he's, he's got two reasons. <clears throat> but I don't get it. Why are you mad? She hot as hell, right? I'm not. I'm not alone, right? <laughs> Huh. Pretty open about that. That sounded like a sophism to Tobimaru, but he had no counterpoint to offer. I mean, it would be if you're still holding out hope for Alko, but it sounds like you might not be that into her anymore. Now, about the one major thing that Tobimaru had been mistaken about this whole conversation. Namely, that Sojiro was not head over heels in love with Aoko and hoped to go steady with her. He merely liked her as a person. Huh. Nobody could have foreseen the massive calamity that would be caused by this simple misunderstanding. Oh. Sojiro. Because okay. <clears throat> she is nice to you, or...? Because she... fights you? <laughs> he spoke with a pained sigh as if opening all the wounds from the past. Ah, I guess he asked her out because she was nice to him and got turned down. お、お。昔な。あいつがあんまりに独善的だった。ついてをあげかけちまったことがある。半年前の夏だ。1年もあいつと生徒会やってたもんだから、俺も女っつうより戦友って気になっててな。つい勢いで平手打ちをしようと右
俺が言いたいのは青崎青子の好き嫌いの基準ってのは普通じゃないってことだいいことをすれば好かれる気に入らないことをすれば嫌われるってわけじゃねえんだよあのお姫様はうん Yeah, so she slugged her in an argument, but she just didn't hold it against you, huh? Sojiro answered that he would keep it in mind as he looked to the clock. They'd been talking for a while, and lunch was almost over. Mo Kimi Kara no Hashiwa Naika? Huh? Hajime Kara Neo, son Nano. The only reason I went to grab you was because Aozaki told me to. <laughs> Why did Toby Maru even brought him here in the first place? He said that already. <laughs> Sojiro tilted his head in wonder, but shook it off to deal with the more pressing matters at hand. Yes. Toby Maru sat up straight, having never seen Sojiro's face look so serious before in all of the ten days he'd known this kid. <laughs> Sojiro set aside his rice ball and cleared his throat. Oh, yes. The thing the chapter's named after. He spoke solemnly. And as carefully as possible, he recounted what had occurred the night before. You know, it's a real shame that we're not actually at time yet. That would have been a great cliffhanger. <clears throat> then again, it might have fallen like in exactly the right place the to be a cliffhanger nine. for the. <laughs> yeah, we'll see if you cut <laughs> oh, it there or man, not. Oh man, that would be great. <laughs> it was ten to twelve, and lunchtime was quickly coming to an end. Okay. Her face popped into Class C as lively as ever, as if it were an everyday occurrence. Alko Aozaki announced her presence. Oh, yeah. While Alko wasn't part of Class C, she didn't let it bother her as she casually entered the classroom. Well, she's the president, so... Well? Huh? In contrast, the baby birds who'd been so noisily chirping while eating lunch quickly <laughs> quieted and began to rearrange their seats. Oh. Oh, well, I guess there are other people in the classroom, so that tracks. Hmm. We're allowed to see her face, so there must ah. be somebody else there to observe Alko. <laughs> we, we have discovered this. She bristled internally before looking around the room. She couldn't see the male student she'd come to find. He hardly, he he hardly stood, stood out, so she thought he might be hidden in a corner somewhere, but that appeared to not be the case. See, wow, you know his seat number? Alko kept her tone professional. It Ah. This is what happened yesterday, huh? I think. No, I think he's busy recounting what happened yesterday while Alko is currently trying to locate him. Okay, yeah. Hmm. The boy was shocked that she actually knew his name. One might think that the reason students referred to Tobimaru Tsukiji by a royal title was because he was the chairman's son, but it was because he actually acted like royalty. <laughs> right, it's just describing the way he goes around carrying himself. In fact, the vice president was said to have taken a liking to the title. <laughs> wow. Didn't you... Th Tobimaru said that you told him to keep an eye on this kid. Like, wh what do you mean? Maybe she meant from a distance? She seemed surprised. The class seemed surprised at her surprise. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Just random dig at Kinomi. Yeah, you know, it's weird. We, we'd never seen the Vice Pres be that friendly with anyone, and then he took him away. We offered the kid like five million dollar, five million yen melon. <laughs> yeah. And he just walked he away. He just walked away. Like, what the fuck? そうだよな。初めは殿下もあんまり話してなかったけど、3日もしたら楽しそうに口喧嘩してたもんな。うん。ま、静木相手に突っ張っても仕方ないじゃん。あいつ変だけどいいやつだし。Is that a good people thing again
Having recomposed themselves, Class C started chatting again. Alko listened for a bit before turning around and leaving the class with a... Hair flip. Later, and a Tomar-style hair flip. Yeah. All the Sojiro talk finished as quickly as it had started. Oh, yeah, okay. Lunchtime was coming to a close in the student council room. Sojiro, having told the story, was smiling in satisfaction. Tobimaru, still sitting across from him, was frowning. Sa, kanso o kikasete kure. Sojiro told his yarn as best he could. Tobimaru fingered his brow as if he was angry or concerned. Na, sonoji. Ome, hito o baka ni dekiru koto kiyo na yatsu jane. What? His response only confirmed Tobimaru's <coughs> suspicions. It had to be one of two possible conclusions. That what Sojiro had just told him was true. Or that Sojiro was so tired that he must have been hallucinating at the time. Tobimaru sincerely hoped it was the latter. Sojiro, I don't even mind when you tell me these weird stories anymore. Oh. Oh. <laughs><笑>そんな奴まで馬鹿げたことを言い出したら、俺は明日から何を頼りに昼飯を食えばいいんだ? What? So he's saying he likes him because he's being so honest makes him not like a person, so we can get closer to him. But if he's gonna go around telling dumb stories and he's like everybody else, he's less he'd be less interested, I guess. Hearing his suggestion, Tobimaru's face darkened. I think he missed the point too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you happen to know one of those? Oh, so you think I'm crazy. Good to know. Thanks. <laughs> as bitter as Tobimaru's words might have sounded to most, Sojiro swallowed them whole. Yeah, no, honestly, I thought I was crazy too. Uh, okay, I'll just chalk it all up to me being so sleepy I was seeing things. <coughs> Satisfied, Sojiro finished off his last rice ball and neatly folded the cloth. Wait, you're just gonna believe you were hallucinating just like that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. yeah. What? Did he see One Piece on a TV and think it was like real life? I'm confused. <clears throat> you thought city folk could just breathe fire? Like, yeah, that seems possible. This is a city after all. <laughs> what? It's. A <laughs> what? Are, are you from a town of mystics? I have no idea. Is your Hick Mountain Village, like, populated with mystics? Is, is, is that what's going on? Maybe. That his face was as serious as it was made Tobimaru realize just how big a culture shock Sojiro must have been experiencing. Living up in the mountains with no electricity, in a place where the night sky was as it always had been, where humans were just one more organism in nature's garden. It makes sense that those conditions would create a boy like him. The idea of children growing up so pure was an appealing one, but Maybe it was natural to forego civilization when your population was so small. Or perhaps it was so simple a world that excessive knowledge was deemed irrelevant. 
It was precisely because city life offered him so much that was impossible up till now that he'd come to the conclusion that anything was possible here. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No Mahalskai here. So, Definitely not. So sure of that, are you? Qu quite, quite sure of that, are you? Be hey. awkward for Alko to walk in and hear that. So, speaking of magicians and like mm. magic users in disguise in the city. Uh, yeah. Alice. Oh. There was some discussion. Oh, was there? Uh, in the comments about why she's so stacked. Okay. So it turns out, uh, she mentioned being, she, she, she mentioned like a legacy at one point in there, some, okay. some German word that we both looked at and went, oh, my, Meinster, I think it was. Oh, all right. That we both looked at and just didn't really react to. Uh-huh. We probably should have. That was mentioned in Lost Belt 6, I think it was. Oh. As hmm. being the family that controls the first magic oh so she's a descendant of the family of sorcerers that wield the first magic oh that's true magic or so well, her family while is. she might not have been performing right true magic there uh -huh. the the magic that she's using is essentially on a different level ah okay. to what rin has access oh to. well i mean yeah, it's it's not just simple magecraft that right. she's that she's pulling off here. So Possibly, that, yeah. That, that's why it's so ridiculously stacked compared to something like what Rin was capable of out of the box. Well, yeah, that makes sense. So Jiro seemed unsure about the mages thing. And on Tobimaru's part, there were things to Sojiro's story that he found hard to swallow. Whether true or not, the incident Sojiro had described was disturbing. まあ、ことの真偽というか、どんな間違いでそう見えたかは置いておいてだ。結果だけ見れば、うちの生徒が夜の公園で人を殺したってことになる。しかも双方光の表現しても普通じゃねえ。yeah, that's seeming kind of likely from Aoko's side of things. Wasn't Aoko supposed to be dealing with the park? Yeah. Did you watch Aoko <clears throat> murder a man last night? Or a magical creature like those guys with the hats? Well, I mean, you might have only virtually like indistinguishable from a man for yeah. someone that doesn't know what they're looking, looking at. at. Yeah. 